Okay, I think this is video number five after I got a customer phone call and had to stop the video in the middle. Okay, if we go back to the video, I think we caught that I filled this up to 70 some PSI and it's down to 30 something during my uh, video call. I broke out the um, AccuTrack ultrasonic and as you can see how sensitive it is as I talk. And then sometimes, remember with these, you gotta watch out for some uh, LED and fluorescent lights could make this thing go crazy. So, watch this. Okay, we got, we got, all this noise in the background is killing my ultrasonic here and my ears because I have ear things on. Okay. No. Let's point it back here. Never mind a truck that's gone by or my voice right there, but watch the screen. See how that continuously goes up? It's not bumping up from noises around me. Now let me turn the pressure back up because we're down to 28. I can hear that, that's whistling in my ears. Just me turning on, this can hear the airflow that you cannot hear with the human ear. I can hear it through this. This thing is just spraying out everywhere. Tons of sound. The sound is so loud, you cannot even determine where it's coming from. But with the human ears, when you use your ears, you hear absolutely nothing. Oh, that's an electric uh, impact wrench the sound bouncing off. <laughs> it does like a quiet environment. All right, so that's enough with this. We know the leak is right down there by the compressor. So let's kill this. And this thing eats up nine volt batteries. And unfortunately the only best batteries I found were either like Energizer or Duracell. These are rechargeable ones. This is the Amazon Basics. Amazon Basics suck. This EDL rechargeable batteries suck. So I'm still, it seems like Americans are I think the last country on earth to still use these nine volt battery. Everyone else went up to a different format. And uh, so that's why there's probably not a good choice of reliable high output nine volt batteries. So let me take this off. And I'm gonna drain the refrigerant out of here. I mean, the, the nitrogen out of here. And it's refrigerant time. And, uh, well, no, I'm gonna get the bubble. See if I can hit anything on the bubble. But I'm suspecting the shaft seal on this guy. Um, I'm gonna hit the bubbles around the seals of the O rings around the hoses but we might have a shaft seal and there's no oil evidence. There's no evidence of oil or dye coming out anywhere. So let's wait for the next video and see what happens.